Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to create this. So before I begin, if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. If you create this animation then tag me on Instagram, I will post it in my stories. So with that being said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright so now I'm in After Effects and the first thing I'm going to do is create a new composition. So let's call this main and width and height 1920 by 1080 frame rate. 30 fps and duration you can go with 10 seconds just click on ok now i'm going to add my text so you can just select the text tool and you can type whatever text you want so i'm going to type trendy and you can just simply select it and just place it in the center of this composition now i can select this and just move its anchor point in the center you can also select the layer, hold down the control key, then double click on this icon and it will center the anchor point. Now let me just quickly select the layer, press S to scale it up, something like this. Now I'm going to change the font, so I'm going to select my text and you can choose whatever font you want. I'm going to use this upgrade ultra bold, ultra black or maybe let's go with uh, something like, uh, I think extra black looks good yeah so now we have this text and first of all i'm going to remove its fill so you can just simply select the layer and make sure you are on the fill color and you can just simply click on this icon and it will disable the fill now if you want to add stroke to your text you can just simply make sure that this color is white and after that just increase this parameter and it will start adding stroke so for this one let's go with three and now we have our text and again i'm going to select it and press p on the key to add a position keyframe now I'm going to animate it so in the beginning I want the text to be somewhere around here and after that I can just simply select it and let's move it around here you can also move place it in the center if you want now select the keyframes and I'm going to add some easing to them so something like this looks good yeah now we are pretty much done with the animation so let's see how we can create those trailing text animation so for that we are going to use an effect called echo so just search for it and apply it onto the layer and now we are going to change some of the parameters so i'm going to just quickly move it around here and the first thing is the number of echoes so i'm going to change this to uh, five and let's play around with the echo time so something around 0.05 looks good now you can see we have this kind of look it's completely up to you how you want to make it look so if you want to increase the distance between them you can just simply change this parameter and you can just play around with it so you can make them come closer something like this or you can just make them really far away so if you play back here you can see we have this kind of animation so this is completely up to you i'm going to stick with this value now you will notice that in the very first text you are able to see the layers behind it so in order to fix that we are going to select this layer then press ctrl d to duplicate it and from this one we are going to remove the echo effect and we are going to apply the fill to it so let's just change it to white and i'm going to remove the strokes and i'm going to set it to zero something like this so now we have this kind of look and also if you want to add the fading effect to it so you can play around with this parameter called decay so you can just simply lower it down and now you can see that we have the text fading away so let's set it to something like 0.7 and yeah this is looking good so now we have this kind of look and this is exactly what we want so let's see how we can add the rgb effect to it so i'm going to select both the layers then right click click on pre-compose and i'm going to rename it to text just click on ok now i'm going to select the layer and i'm going to search for an effect called shift channel and i'm going to apply it on this one we are going to make the take red from red and all the other channels to turn off 
and now I'm going to select this layer press ctrl D to duplicate it and on the next layer we are going to turn the red off and enable the green again we are going to press ctrl D to duplicate it for this one we are going to enable the blue channel only so now we can select both all the three layers and you can go under the mode and you can change it to screen or add whatever you want if you are not able to see this option you can just simply click on this icon and it will make it appear so we have our text and you might be not able to see the RGB effect yet so there are two ways in which you can do that so the first is you can offset the layer so you can select the layer and just offset it by one frame something like this and now you can see we have the RGB look and the other method is by applying an effect called op optics compensation so just search for this effect and you can apply it onto the layer and now I'm going to increase its value and make sure that this option is checked reverse lens distortion and also we're going to click on this so just play around with this and I'm going to copy this then paste it onto the second layer and you can just play around with their values something like this could looks good so if I play back here you can see we have this kind of effect again you can animate the field of view if you want your text to be back to the normal so let me just quickly select a frame so somewhere around here I can add a keyframe then press U to check out the keyframe and somewhere around here let's set its value to 0 and I'm going to do the same thing for this one so set a keyframe and just move it to there and let's set its value to 0 as well so now you can see we have this kind of effect and our text comes back to normal so this is how you can create this trendy look now I'm going to show you how you can create this same kind of RGB look using my script called RGB splitter and it's very easy to use you will notice how fast we can create the same kind of look in just one click so let me just quickly delete all this layer and on this one I'm going to delete it as well set it to normal so now we are back with the layer now let me get my script so here is the script you can see that it's very minimal all it has is just this one button so I'm going to disable this and I can select my layer if I just simply click on this icon now you can see we have created something and if I play back here you can see we have already created the RGB effect using just one click and you can also edit it very well so you can select this top layer which is this null and under here you can see we have different options so you can edit individual channel so if you want the script the link is in the description below and from here you can play around with the values so you can just increase or decrease whatever individual channel you want to play with so now you can see we have this kind of look and again you can animate these parameters to get your text back to the normal you can see how fast and easy it is to create the RGB effect using my script again you don't need this script to create the RGB effect I've showed you how you can do it manually but if you want to create the glitch effect very fast you can use my script link for that is in the description below so make sure to subscribe and also the project file for this tutorial are available on patreon so you can support me over there and you will get different rewards based on your tier so make sure to check out my patreon as well also don't forget to tag me on instagram if you make this animation and i would love to share it on my stories so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one